Hey everybody, Creative Chica here, aka Tony, and today we planned on making a squash casserole for dinner, so we wanted to go ahead and maybe show you how we're going to do this. It's a southern squash casserole, and whenever I told my husband the other day, I, I was talking to him on the phone, I said, we got some squash today, and he said, what? He got really excited. I said, you're not getting any, because <laughs> he loves squash, so... But I'm going to have to make him a squash casserole whenever I get home. Or he just likes regular squash boiled, actually. So, um, this is what we are going to use. We picked up four of these yellow squash. And we got one sweet onion. One sleeve of the Ritz crackers. Uh, it's hard to do this holding the camera. And one stick of butter. we got to get one egg. Um, one can of the cream of mushroom condensed soup, the sharp cheddar cheese, and mayonnaise. And um, so I'm going to put this on the tripod and I'm going to show you how we put it together. And I will tell you, I will also list all the ingredients in the description box and also how much you use of each one. Okay, so I already washed the squash. So what we got to do here is cut the squash up and we're going to put it in a mixing bowl. And this will probably be on fast forward, I'm sure. And I always cut the ends off. Cut the squash up. I'm just giving you, just showing you just a little bit. I'm probably going to do it, you know, half it up the big pieces and then I'll be right back. So I cut up the squash and I cut it in halves and quarters, some of it, some of the bigger ones. And now I'm going to cut the sweet onion. And I'm just going to just demonstrate a little. And then I will cut it all up. Should have already peeled it. I do not like cutting up onions. Not really. This, ooh, my onions are, are, my eyes are already burning with this onion. Okay. I'm just get that over, and then I'll start cutting up a little, but I'll just, not a whole lot. This is how I cut onion. Ooh, my eyes are burning. This is sweet onion, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to finish cutting this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all this onion pretty much cut up, chopped up. Yeah, I don't use like a, one of those things you cut onions up with. I do it by hand. Okay, so I wish I had one of those scraper things, but I don't. I can buy it at uh, Dollar Tree. I got one at home. Maybe whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I need to buy her one. Those things are nice if they have them. They're like a pastry type thing. Just scoops everything up. Okay, so I got onion in the bowl here. And so next, what do I do next? <laughs> Hang on. Salt. Okay, 
So Bobby is looking this up on her phone, so she's telling me how to do this. I think I make it another way, but I can't remember how. So this is this is the way that she found on Pinterest, right? Yes. And it's called Southern. Slap Southern. your mama's Southern casserole. Really? Yeah. Sla slap your mom. What? Slap your mama's Southern casserole. <laughs> Uh, okay. Slap your mama, it's so delicious, Southern Castle. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to put that as the title then. Yeah. Okay, so I'm adding one cup of mayonnaise to the chopped up onion. Okay. And guys, I am not Martha Stewart, so. <laughs> Try to get it all out of there. And the can of soup. Good. I think it will be good. Okay. Uh, one egg. And this is actually eggs from our chickens. Farm fresh. Farm fresh eggs. We brought her a bunch up here from Florida. <laughs> How many did we bring you? Four or five cartons. I think so. That's a lot. So anyway, she's already used like, uh, it takes eight ounces of the shredded cheese. So we're using the uh, sharp cheddar cheese. And she's already used half the bag. So we're just going to use the rest of the bag. It's going to be a cheese egg. We like cheese. It's going to be a cheese egg. <laughs> okay, so. And then we uh, just mix this up? Yes. And then uh, salt and pepper. Oh, salt and pepper. Does it say how much salt and pepper? Just like two teaspoons. Oh, really? Yeah. One teaspoon of salt. Ooh, that just went everywhere. Ooh. Oh, I need like. A... I don't think we have any measuring spoons. Really? Um, there is. That's okay. This will work. Yeah. So how much? It's just a half a tablespoon. A half a what? Half a teaspoon fresh ground black pepper. And then one. Well, this is not fresh, but hey. Yeah. It is what it is. And how much salt? And then one salt. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. Oh, this stuff is like going everywhere here. All right. We don't want a big bunch of salt, but that, that'll that work. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get all this mixed up together, and we'll go to the next step. Also, here's the... We don't grease this, do we? No. Okay, so... I'm going to pour the squash in here, and you don't even have to boil it. I thought you had to boil this, but you don't even have to boil it. Oh, we may need two baking dish. Huh? We oh, may. my goodness. Yeah. Woo. I think we need two. We need two. Okay. Baking dishes. Hang on. We need two. Two baking dishes. I don't even know how much squash we needed. Hang on. I had to get the 13 by 9 baking dish, so I got the squash in here, because that other one was too small, and I don't even know what size it was, so... Anyway, I have this mixed up, the mayonnaise, the onion, the cheese, salt and pepper, an egg. Was that it? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try to mix this together. Hopefully I can. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Yeah. I just hope I can get it all mixed up. You need a huge bowl to mix that up in. Mm -hmm. So... So I'm going to mix all this up together, and I won't bore you with me doing it too long. You just got to get everything in there. If you want to, if you have a big enough bowl, just do it that way, I guess, but I'm doing it the hard way. So I'll be right back. So I'm going to melt this. It's got to be melted in just a second. I've got the Pioneer Woman rolling pin here, y'all. And I'm going to try, I don't know if I can crush these things up. They need to be crushed up, though. And they get, it's got air in it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like us, full of air. Yeah. Full of hot air. Full of hot air. Okay. <sighs> Just crush up the Ritz crackers. And this is going to be mixed in with the butter, and that's going to be like put on top, right? Yes. And then what do we bake this on, Bobby? 350. 350 for... For 30 minutes covered with foil, and then 20 minutes uncovered. Okay. And you want to cover it with foil for the 30 minutes so the crackers don't burn. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to... 
I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to melt the butter, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. It's evidently, it wasn't recording whenever I put the Ritz on here. I don't know if it did or not, but um, since we're, we're putting like two sticks of butter on this, um, because we do have like two sleeves of the Ritz instead of one because this is a lot of squash So this is how we're doing it. So hold on and I'm going to put the other stick of butter on here Now you can also just put the, the crackers in a bowl and mix the butter You know together or you can do it this way. I think it'll turn out the same Okay so, and that didn't quite melt, but that's okay. Now, we put it in the oven on 350? Yes. Okay. Move, Angus. Okay. All right, so, we got, it, we got to cover it with foil for the first 30 minutes so the, the rich crackers do not burn. And she's about out of this this oil, so I'm just gonna rip it here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bake this at 350 for 30 minutes, and then I believe what was it after that, Bobby? You bake it uncovered for 20 minutes. Okay, and then bake it uncovered for 20 minutes. So I'm going to put it in the oven now. Okay, guys. So this is the uh, uh, Slap Your Mama is So Delicious Southern Squash Casserole after it is baked. And the Ritz crackers have browned and the cheese and everything. And we're going to let it cool before we taste it. So I'm going to put a little bit on the plate here. According to Bobby, it tastes really good. So we just got back from town. Had to go take care of Boy Scout or Cub Scouts for the oldest grandson. So let me get a fork here and see. I don't do mukbang, y'all. My little son told me, he said, Mom, please don't. <laughs> I said, Why not? Lots of people would do mukbangs. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try this. So it looks pretty good here. Let's try it. Mm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's a little rich with the butter, but it's good. So I'm going to eat me some dinner. Yeah, it's good, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yum, yum. And it looks like we're going to have plenty of it left over. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's very, very good. And it's very moist, too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this uh, little video of the Slap Y'all Mama It's So Delicious Southern Squash Casserole. And uh, I will have the recipe in the description box, guys. So I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.